Question 5. Calculate the length of the AD. You want to find the length of AD. Figure, give your answers to three significant figures. So we need to calculate the length, the length of AD. We need to give our answers to three significant figures. In order to calculate that length of AD, and we're using Pythagoras, well, we need to either know, we need to know two sides in order to find a third one because we need to apply that formula. And if we're applying this formula, in order to find that, I need to know these two. In order to find these, I need to know that those two. And in order to find that, I need to know, to know these two. So you need two sides in order to find a third one. But it means they've been very clever what they've done, they are going to make me work twice. First of all, I need to find that side. And then I use this side and that side to find that side. So you can see they're telling me this is a right angle here. So that's one right angle. And then I've got another right angle. So they're like congruent triangle here, like kind of joined together. They have the same base. Okay, so what do I do? Um, I can basically find this side first. So let's do that using that formula. Which is the longest side between that, that, and that? Well, it's going to be this one. So I'm going to call that C. And I'm going to call this bit here A, the one I'm going to find, and I'm going to call that B. Okay, so what I'm going to do is apply that quad, um, Pythagoras. So to do that, I'm going to say, well, we know C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. But I'm looking for A. So I need to move the B squared because it's a plus relationship. I can move the B squared to the other side to make A squared the subject. And then I'll square root on square root, both square, both side, both side. So if I then say a squared, which is what I'm looking for, so I can say a squared. I just left it there, and I move this to the other side. That will be equal to c squared because this is going to there minus b squared. So basically, I subtracted b squared from from both sides of the equation. Now, I need to square root both sides, so I can get A equals square root C squared minus B squared. Actually, whenever you square root, you always get plus or minus. But don't forget, we're not going to get a negative number, because it had to be a positive number, so we only consider the positive number. So A has to be positive, it cannot be negative. But whenever you square root, bear in mind, it has to be positive or negative. And therefore, I can populate these letters or variables with their values. So A would then be equal to square root. Now C is 19, so I'm going to put 19 squared minus B is 14, so I'm going to put 14 squared. A equals, now, might as well just bring in my calculator. Okay, so clear the screen for the calculator there. And I'll just plug in this one, square root, 19 squared minus 14 squared and that gives me a um, root of 165 the question says give your answer to three significant figures so i need the decimal point here um, that one is the exact value so the exact value is so if i could write this down root 165 is the exact value. 
That's the exact value. But I need a significant figure, so I have to press standard to decimal. A is equal to 12.845.23, and it goes on. I need the actual value to carry on to do to find, because I need to use that now to find this one. So to then go on to find the side I'm really interested in, because I'm interested in AB, so I'm going to use again the same equation to now found AB. So it looks like AB is the longest side. So I'm going to call this one C. So I'll call that A as it is. Now I'll leave that to be B. So I'm now looking for C. I know what A is. A is root 165. So I'm going to keep the exact value here. I'm going to apply that here. So I'm going to say, well, we know that C squared equals A squared plus B squared. I'm looking for C now. So I need to square root both sides. Uh, so I'm going to get C equals, well, you remember when you square root, you always get plus or minus A squared plus b squared but i don't need a negative because that's not a negative number it has to be a positive number because it has to be a positive number i can then say it's going to be root i can populate a with a value wow so i'm going to get now this is interesting so you have to be careful here because a is root 165 so what i'm going to do is i've got root one six five all squared plus and b is 10. So make sure all the units are the same b is 10 so now it'll be 10 squared so you can see what i've done a is root 165 so i'll put it there root 165 all squared because it's a squared and b is 10 so that's what c is so now well, i can then put it back into the and uh, put root there 165 okay so you gotta be careful here this is where things go wrong with student so you have to really be able to put that in carefully otherwise you know if you square if that's a a squared would just be 165 you know a squared is 165 yeah we done we can see that so and then you do your plus and then you do your 10 squared so this is where students will make mistake that one there and so c would then become equal to you press equal sign again you go root 265 now we don't want uh so we know c is root 265 but this is the exact value that's the exact value of c we actually want in significant figures which means you have to press standard to decimal and that will give us 16 point now they're saying three significant figure so that's one two three the next one is seven is is, is higher than five equal and higher than five so you have to round it up to three sixteen point three